Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and we're starting a new series within my channel on doing celebrity voices, impersonations. What purpose could this possibly serve? Well, often when I am doing my audiobook work, I'll ask authors, tell me what this character is uh, equivalent as a celebrity or as a famous uh, character in movies. So then I can look it up on YouTube and get a ballpark range of what the author is thinking. And in the end, dialects, accents, and uh, voices, it's really all the same idea of what flavor, region, background is uh, the character coming from. Or, you know, how does it sound? How is it recognized? So for the first episode here, I am going to do John Wayne and uh, take a look at some of the things that make his voice distinct. And then I'm going to use his voice for reciting some song lyrics, which is a practice I highly recommend. Ta-da! Here's the Mattoon. This is a picture of me with my glasses on. And it's showing where, uh, when I'm uh, listening to John Wayne and uh, impersonating it back, where I'm feeling the, uh, the sounds coming from uh, in my head. So uh, with John Wayne, what I find surprising is typically John Wayne personifies the tough guy cowboy, which I would normally think is uh, sort of low and in the lower jaw right there and um, just a Texas twang to it. Well, John Wayne actually has something closer to uh, a general American accent, which doesn't really waver throughout the movies that he's uh, doing, except sometimes the dialect, not the accent, but the dialect uh, has him speaking uh, like a cowboy. But his accent actually doesn't really have much twang to it. It's uh, a general American accent. John Wayne uh, grew up in Southern California. And uh, the uh, sound that actually makes it really distinct to me is closer to a transatlantic accent, which uh, has much more of the nasal quality to it. Now, he doesn't have the accent, but he does have what I would consider to be that resonance. Uh, a lot of people call that old-timey uh, movie and radio sound. Um, so strangely enough, um, when I uh, am doing this uh, voice, I'm finding that the sound is much closer to like that scientist guy on The Simpsons who has a, a very uh, a, a voice sort of like this, where it's actually living in the nose and uh, the upper, pa the soft palate up here. And, but it's anchored by the hard R's that uh, then make him sound a bit more tough. Now, I just did a Texas twang there. But if you follow this, nasal, buzzy, soft palate, and anchored in hard R's. You're actually heading much closer to John Wayne territory. Okay, before we talk about uh, more of uh, the things that happen when John Wayne uses his words, let's also talk about sort of the persona essence of John Wayne. Now, uh, when thinking about uh, the energy that he's coming from, uh, the attitude that he seems to be coming from, because again, this, this affects uh, the voices that I use in my books. Um, I think of somebody who is basically um, has been asleep and is being rustled up from a nap and is just sort of coming into consciousness. There's that sort of lazy eyes, a slight talking out of the side of the mouth, and then building his thoughts from there. So um, if, uh, the, uh, if the lyrics are, is that the way it is? There is this more sort of like, is that the way it is? The thing that uh, I notice a lot with John Wayne is the tone. He starts with a very sustained tone that rises and drops, but it's that sort of uh, lack of staccato musicality or multiple notes, but that very flat kind of way of talking that rises up when he gets loud and draws down when he's getting quiet, but it maintains that sustained music almost like a singing sound. Now, you'll notice I said singing, not singing, and that's because even though uh, John Wayne's accent is much closer to a general American accent, he does abbreviate his endings, singing and such. The other thing I'm noticing is that the ow sound becomes an ah for him. So he'll, instead of now, he'll be nah, and how, he'll be ha. There's a very distinct and what I consider to be unique quality that John Wayne uses with his words and his sentences is that he'll stutter, almost stutter, but sustain 
the sound almost like almost like making a real deliberate turn on a corner in a car and then going forward so uh everything is so wonderful you know maybe he'll uh sustain the w sound for a little bit and then hurry up with the rest of the world everything is so wonderful then there's also the quality of that gravelly wheeze, which increased greatly as he was getting older. His voice actually raised up in pitch as he was getting older, which is something I didn't expect. But uh, this quality of the uh, sound, which doesn't have really any uh, breath vocals going through it. So I find it's actually easier to achieve that effect and that sound if I push my breath out and then speak. Now, this is terrible for the vocal cords. You don't want to actually use it when you're doing live theater, trying to speak to a room or use dialogue for an extended period of time. But you see, I'm talking, talking, talking until I'm almost breathed out. And now suddenly it's hard to breathe. Okay, everybody, it is time to apply these principles to song lyrics. In this case, I thought it would be fitting to take the John Wayne voice and use it to deliver Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Every day is so wonderful, and suddenly it's hard to breathe. Now and then I get insecure from all the pain I'm so ashamed. To all your friends, you're delirious, so consumed in all your doom. Oh. Trying hard to fill the emptiness. The piece is gone, left the puzzle undone. Ain't that the way it is? Oh, I am beautiful. No matter what they say, words can't bring me down. I am beautiful in every single way. Words can't bring me down, so don't you bring me down today. And that is John Wayne, Beautiful, from Christina Aguilera. And, uh, of course, the music is by our beloved Kevin McLeod, who does this stuff public domain, gives it out for free. Thank you so much, Kevin. So, uh, is this a perfect impersonation? Eh, somewhat, somewhat perfect. Anyway, uh, if you think you can do better, please uh, uh, do a video for yourself and link it uh, to uh, to my video, and let's uh, let's all share. And if you've got any other insights about Mr. Wayne and how that all works, uh, please share as well in the comments. And I will see you next time.